Hi everyone, today I will talk about how to update the firmware of ZX300. Okay, um, so it allows the firmware update of um, NWM1A01 set and N set X300 and A40 series. First of all, you need to take a look of your firmware version. As I remember, um, some of the Western country uh, haven't get this ZX300 yet. It is pre-order now only, I think. Okay, you can take a look of it. And this is 1.0 here. What will be added after the update is um, about your Bluetooth. As we can see here, we still don't have aptX HD, but after the firmware update, we can see aptX HD here but uh, as I remember uh, Sony do not add any USB DAC function in this firmware update as I could remember yeah. okay and then um, what this aptx hd aptx hd can provide a 48 khz and 24 bits to your uh, bluetooth devices but ldac from only the sony provide can produce um, 96 khz and 24 bits to your devices and you can see SBC and APTX here it's only provide 48k hertz and 16 bit to your Bluetooth devices okay and then let's take a look of the firmware update on my computer 如果你是香港的觀眾或者是台灣的觀眾的話 OK, if you are the audience from Western country you can go to Sony eSupport and but I only can see NWM1A and one z firmware updates now um, maybe end of ZX300 and A40 it's now only for you to pre-order right so Sony may not allow on the US website yet Okay, I also copy the link afterwards. Okay, okay. Another ga Nihon Kala Kita Baiwa Kokowo Kikure Kurasai. Yeah, Hontai update. Um, Walkman. Music Center for PC. I will plug in my Walkman now. And 
and then turn on the USB mass storage function. If you do not uh, change your setting on your Walkman, it may uh, turn on the mass storage function automatically. creating the database okay and then the update is finished and it also become um, that's all of this video thank you for watching goodbye